Today I'm going to demonstrate the spiral links. You'll need to do five of these connected together on a simple loop bar. The spiral links are going to connect three of the forms that you've done before. We're going to do a spiral, an angle similar to the scroll, and then we'll add a simple loop. First you'll need your round nose pliers and we're starting off with the spiral. So smart, smallest part of your pliers as close to the end of the wire as possible. Do about one and a half times and you can switch to the flat nose. So about there. You can switch over to the flat nose to finish out about three times around for the spiral. Then we're going to do the angle just like the scroll. So the spiral faces down. I have this top part right here. My round nose pliers, about halfway into the pliers, the spiral is going to be all the way up against your pliers. I'm going to angle down. So I'm going to use my thumb, make a sharp 90 degree angle on there. Then I'll put the spiral into the pliers, having the point right here by the point of my pliers. I'm going to push on that to sharpen the angle. So I have a nice triangle there. And we're gonna spiral, spiral around. And you want it to go just a little past straight. Kinda of looks like a duck. <laughs> then we're gonna angle up. You're gonna poke yourself in the eye, similar to how we did the charm for the two string bracelet. I'm gonna have this spiral inside my pliers and the point's gonna be right here. I want it right in the center. And I'm gonna angle up. So check where that's angled at, and I'm going to angle this straight up using my finger so that I get this 90 degree angle here. And I'm going to switch to the round nose pliers. I like to have the angle pointed towards me, so I'm going to round this wire towards the back. So the simple loop will be kind of on the back side. So this can be a little bit bigger, so somewhere in that last third or so of your pliers is fine. I'm going to push that away from me and I'm gonna go all the way around as far as I can and reposition so I can get a complete loop. Just go past that spiral. Okay, so I should have something like that. And I'm gonna cut it right where they first intersect. So right there with my cutters. So I should have a piece that looks similar to this. It kind of reminds me of the candlestick holder with the little handle sticking up. So this is kind of your bottom. If you were to sit it there, it sits pretty flat. If you try to sit it the other way, it falls over. So I like to have them all that same direction when I link them together. To do the link, we're going to put the simple loop at the end for these corners. I have a couple already started. I'm gonna show you how to get that put together. So when you cut it, it should be open. So you shouldn't have to do anything. I'm just gonna slide this in. You might have to open it just a little bit more if you need to. Yep, this one I'm going to, just a tad. You do wanna make sure that it's cut so it just meets up, it doesn't overlap. Slide that in, and then I'm gonna close it. To close it, if you take your flat nose pliers, and I'm just gonna give it a little twist. This will be similar to the jump rings that we're going to do. For jump rings, you want to twist to close them. Don't push and pull them. So that should be linked under there. So for this assignment, we'll have five of these work, um, hooked together. These would make a really neat bracelet if you want to do something like that. You could also use colored wire. If they make bright colored wire, it'd be fun to have two or three different colors and make a bracelet out of that too. Some of these are just really close. I'm gonna have to open that. But I have them all the same direction. I'm just twisting those shut. Make sure they just touch, don't overlap. And then I have, well I had an extra, so I have one more that I'm gonna hook onto there. So you'll put these onto a simple loop into your book.